think a lot of people kind of deal with death by forgetting about it, and this is the first time that I've had to deal with death, and so I was like, no one's going to forget about it. We're going to keep his memory alive forever. So when he passed, uh, all his friends kind of reacted in different ways, and the way I dealt with it um, was wanting to do something constructive and positive, and um, so I kind of flipped out and opened up a beer theater in his name. I was raised in Eugene. I've lived here for 24, 25 years. Um, and I've been running the theater for exactly one year. I used to like to play ball a lot. I used to go to the gym. I used to go out. Don't do a whole lot of that anymore. I do this seven days a week. So I work a lot. I'm a workaholic. My ultimate goal is to have is to refurbish an old fashioned theater with balconies and kind of have that epic sort of production, showing new movies, old movies, kind of a kind of a similar mix of the movies we're showing now, but on a larger scale. But that's kind of down the road. In the meantime, I want to make this uh, successful. I want to see this um, filled up with people. Originally, I thought that our biggest niche would be the beer. No one else in town has the beer. Um, it's kind of a big deal in other cities, being able to drink beer while watching a movie. That was kind of the platform of this whole idea. But then it turns out even more importantly than the food, the beer, the drink, it's the comfortable chairs. So that's kind of what differentiates us from other theaters is that we have the comfort of your own home, but a better system, bigger screen, better surround sound, and a more comfortable lazy boy.